friends welcome to this next video on complex analysis in this video we will learn how to take the nth power and mth root of a complex number so what do we mean by that means that suppose z is a complex number we want to know how to compute z raised to power n and z raised to power 1 by m okay let us see so first we'll start with this z raised to power n right we have seen this polar representation of a complex number okay that will make our life very simple so we have a complex number represented as r e raised to power eta theta where r is modulus of z and theta is argument of z right then you can take r raised to power n when n is positive as uh, sorry z raised to power n where when n is positive as r e raised to power eta theta raised to power n where this is the representation of this particular z so you have this thing as r raised to power n e raised to power eta n theta so this is r raised to power n this is cos of n theta plus eta sine of n theta this is using Euler's formula okay right so in this way we can compute the positive powers of z Similarly, suppose n is negative, write it minus p. So, z raised to power minus p will be r e raised to power eta theta raised to power minus p. That will be r raised to power minus p. e raised to power minus eta p theta. So, that will be your r raised to power minus p. Cos of minus p theta plus eta sine of minus p theta. So, this is again, this thing is r raised to power n cos of n theta plus i sine of n theta right so it means that whether n is positive or negative it doesn't matter n should be uh, uh, integer obviously right then nth power of z is r raised to power n cos of n theta plus eta sine of n theta where n is uh, z, uh, r is modulus of z and theta is argument of z this is quite simple thing and let us look at one example already we have seen this example in the last video 1 plus eta raised to power 24 so it is simply uh, either you can use the binomial that i have already explained you but you can write the polar form polar form will be here the modulus is root 2 and we are in the first quadrant so theta is tan inverse of 1 so this is uh, root 2 e raised to power eta pi by 4 so this is root, uh, root 2 e raised to power eta pi by 4 raised to power 24. So that is root 2 raised to power 24 e raised to power eta pi by 4 times 24. So this is equal to 2 raised to power 12 e raised to power eta 6 pi. So that will be 2 raised to power 12 cos of 6 pi plus eta sine of 6 pi. And cos of 6 pi is 1 and sine of 6 pi is 0. So you get 2 raised to power 12. Right. This is how you can compute the powers of a complex number now let us see how we can compute the uh, roots of mth roots of a complex number so basically what we want is we want we are looking suppose that is a complex number given okay and we are looking for zeta some other complex number such that zeta raised to power m is z okay this is what we are looking for we want to know how to compute such zetas okay. so let us do that okay so uh, let us start with uh, suppose i am given z is equal to 1 and i want to compute the fourth root so i basically i want 1 raised to power 1 by 4 right obviously 1 is a complex number i can write it as 1 plus 0 eta right okay so i want to compute 1 raised to power 1 by 4 so basically i am looking for zeta such that zeta raised to power 4 is 1 okay so there are two ways we can do this the first way is you just write zeta is equal to 1 raised to power 1 by 4 so 1 is your i can write it in the polar form 1 e raised to power eta 0 raised to power 1 by 4 that is equal to 1 raised to power 1 by 4 e raised to power eta 0 by 4 so that will be your 1 raised to power 1 by 4 that is 1 and this is 1 okay so you 
you get zeta as 1 and we know that that zeta is equal to 1 satisfies this equation right the other way is you can uh, like compute it algebraically you can write it as zeta raised to power 4 minus 1 is equal to 0 which is zeta raised to power 2 raised to power 2 minus 1 square is equal to 0 now you can use a square minus b square that will give you is a minus b a plus b is equal to 0 now this is zeta square minus 1 square this is zeta square minus eta square is equal to 0 again you use the formula a minus b a plus b is equal to a square minus b square that will give you zeta minus 1 zeta plus 1 zeta minus eta zeta plus eta is equal to 0 so we get zeta is equal to 1 eta minus 1 minus eta these are the four one, uh, uh, fourth roots of unity right so but doing this way writing in the polar form we, we obtain only this first root okay this this root we have obtained from this this representation of one right now let us see how we can op uh, obtain these three more roots okay let us do that so we obtain that zeta raised to power 4 minus 1 is equal to z zeta raised to power 4 is equal to 1 is satisfied by zeta is equal to 1 iota minus 1 and minus iota okay so let us see 1 raised to power 4 is actually 1 e raised to power iota 0 raised to power 4 which is 1 e raised to power iota 0 okay iota raised to power 4 is actually iota polar representation of iota is actually 1 e raised to power iota pi by 2 this is a polar representation of iota right iota is here on the uh, imaginary axis so its angle is pi by 2 raised to power 4 that will give you 1 e raised to power iota 2 pi okay obviously this thing is equal to this thing is 1 this thing is 1 okay because we know that it's 1 raised to power these are the roots of this equation so obviously any root raised to power 4 will give us 1 right now one uh, next is minus 1 minus 1 raised to power 4 minus 1 uh, polar representation minus 1 is here okay so it makes angle pi so it has 1 e raised to power iota pi raised to power 4 so it is 1 e raised to power iota 4 pi right then what is the uh, next root is minus iota raised to power 4 that is 1 e raised to power this is minus iota right i can write it as 3 pi by 2 so it will be iota 3 pi by 2 this angle is 3 pi by 2 raised to power 4 that will give you 1 e raised to power iota 6 pi right now you have to note this thing that all these things this is equal to 1 this is a polar representation of 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 1 how we have already seen that 1 can be written in the polar form as r e raised to power iota theta where r is modulus of 1 which is 1 square plus 0 square 1 and theta is argument of 1 now argument of 1 is 1 is a number here argument of 1 is tan inverse of 0 upon 1 that is 0 but we have seen that uh, in the second last video we have seen that if for a point theta is an argument then theta plus 2 pi k is also an argument where k is an integer so we know that 0 is an argument of 1 then 2 pi is also an argument of 1 4 pi is also an argument of 1 and 6 pi is also an argument of 1 right so it means that when you want to compute the fourth roots of unity or any complex number let us uh, right now uh, stick to this one only if you want to compute the fourth root of unity then what you have to do you have to write the polar form of 1 that is 1 into e raised power eta theta theta is 0 here but you write it in the general form okay so basically if theta is a uh, is an argument of z then theta plus 2 pi k where k is an integer is argument of z so you write it th that that argument okay raised to power 1 by 4 so we have 1 e raised to power iota in this case 2 pi k by 4 okay and which values we are taking we are taking k is equal to 0 1 2 3 so you have to take k 0 1 2 3 what if i take k 4 5 6 7 you can take that also but you can see that if you take k is equal to 4 you will obtain the same root as k is equal to 0 k is equal to 4 if you will start you will have e raised to power iota 8 pi this is the representation of 1 then you will take the fourth root that you will get 1 e raised to power iota 
2 pi that is again 1 right so when you take k is equal to 4 you will get the same root as k is equal to 0 and when you take k is equal to 5 you will get the same root as k is equal to 1 and when you take k is equal to 6 you will take get the same root as k is equal to 2 and so on so the different roots you will get only for k is equal to 0 1 2 3 so it means that less than 1 to this m if this is m then you have to take k is equal to 0 1 2 up to m minus 1 if you are looking for 1 raised to power 1 by m right let us do one example let us try to find out the cube roots of unity cube roots of unity right so how we will find we will find uh, write the polar form of this complex number that is 1 e raised to power eta uh, its argument is 0 but now we will write the argument in general form okay raised to power 1 by 3 and your k will take 0 1 2 1 less than this number this is 3 here so your answer will be e raised to power eta 0 first will you will take k is equal to 0 second is e raised to power eta 2 pi by 3 when you will take k is equal to 1 Four, third is eta when you will take k is equal to 2 4 pi by 3 so you have this answer 1 this answer is cos of 2 pi by 3 plus eta sine of 2 pi by 3 and this answer is cos of 4 pi by 3 plus eta sine of 4 pi by 3 so this is your you can write it as cos minus pi minus pi by 3 plus eta sine pi minus pi by 3 so it will be cos pi minus pi by 3 is minus cos pi by 3 plus eta sine pi by 3 so this is minus half plus uh, root 3 by 2 minus half plus root 3 by 2 eta okay this is your root and in this case it will be cos pi plus pi by 3 plus eta sine pi plus pi by 3 so this will be a third quadrant cos is negative so you have minus cos pi by 3 and sine is also negative minus i sine pi by 3 so this is minus half minus root 3 by 2 eta okay so basically these are the three roots three cube roots of unity okay okay so in general if we have this was when we have z is equal to 1 but in general for any z we can write it as r e raised to power eta theta plus 2 k pi okay where k is an integer right then mth root will be r raised to power 1 by m e raised to power eta theta plus 2 pi k divided by m where k can take value 0 1 2 up to m minus 1 okay so let us do one example let us find out the cube roots of this complex number root 2 plus eta root 2 raised to power 1 by 3 this is what we want to find out so there will be three cube roots so what you can do you can start with the polar representation of this number what is r r is modulus that is root 2 square plus root 2 square so you have 2 plus 2 that is root 4 that is 2 what is theta? Theta is tan inverse of because we are in the first quadrant because real part and imaginary part both are positive. Root 2 by root 2 that is tan inverse of 1 that is pi by 4. So I'll use this formula. You have this 2 e raised to power eta theta is pi by 4 plus 2 pi k okay raised to power 1 by 3 where k will take values 0, 1, 2 okay. So you have when k is 0 when k is 0 you have 2 e raised to power eta pi by 4 when k is 1 you have 2 e raised to power eta 2 raised to power 1 by 3 i'm sorry that 1 by 3 goes here also here also it will be pi by 12 so and here you have 2 raised to power 1 by 3 e raised to power eta pi by 4 plus 2 pi divided by 3 and when k is equal to 2 you have 2 raised to power 1 by 3 e raised to power eta pi by 4 plus 4 pi divided by 3 so your roots are 2 raised to power 1 by 3 e raised to power eta pi by 12 this is 2 raised to power 1 by 3 e raised to power eta 3 pi by 4 you can just add these numbers and here 2 raised to power 1 by 3 e raised to power eta 17 pi by 17 pi by 12 
Okay, these are your answers. Okay, in this way we can find the mth roots of a complex number. Thank you.